unfortunately, this was supposed to be a celebration of my mother and not a roast. Which means I had to throw away a lot of the really good stuff that I had already written. Now, of course, she's going to want me to stand up here and tell you, list the reasons how great she is, how much love we all have for her, and how lucky we all are to have her. But that just really wouldn't be any fun. She'd want me to say that her food is the best, and that her support is unwavering, and that her love totally unconditional. But we all know that her cheesecake has been known to have glass in it a few times. I just knew it. I still don't think she has a clue what I do for a living. And she only really, really loves you when you wear the right clothes, date the right person, have the right job, and obey her ridiculous rules. I have never known a woman that loved life and the people in it as much as she does. She loves her God, her husband, her friends, her work, her overly abundant social life, and of course her children and her grandchildren. So speaking of some of these ridiculous rules, I'm going to let you know the rules of being one of her children and letting her love you. Rule number one, you must never mention a favorite food that you or anything else that you really like to eat or drink. Because if you do, you'll have this food in abundance every single time you've set foot in the house. When I was in college, I had some of her delicious ranch checks mix and have now consumed at least 50 pounds, as you can see, since that day. Now, it got so bad that when I would come home from college, she would actually pack boxes for me to take back to school, which usually made it from the kitchen to, unfortunately, the garage, uh, the, the garbage can in the uh, garage. Because at the end of the day, who really needs five pounds of Chex Mix every month or two? One little taste would be fine. And since we're on the topic of food, let's go to rule number two. Never accept from my mother, and I know most of you have had to do this at some point, anything that she says is homemade or homegrown. What? When she says something is homemade, what she really means is, I bought this, wait, yeah, I bought this at the store two weeks ago and no one else will eat it or I am sick of it. Oh. If she tells you something is homegrown, what that really means is, this fruit is too old, no one else has eaten it, and it already looks bruised and discolored, so I will tell my children it is homegrown. <laughs> As a general rule of thumb, don't ever accept anything my mother gives you if it's wrapped in tip foil or a Ziploc bag, because if it was really that good, she probably would have eaten it herself. <laughs> rule number three. Uh -oh. Now there is regular time, and there is Terry time. Now regular time for us is basically I will be there around five for dinner, which means that I'm gonna try to get in, eat, drink, and get out as quickly as I possibly can. Now, Terry time means you will be there at five, obviously for some ranch flavored Chex Mix, and then you're gonna have to have a bottle or two or three of wine with Jim. Then you're gonna eat as much food as you can possibly finish, and then you're gonna have to have a dessert that you told your mom you didn't want in the first place, didn't want while you were eating it, and are now don't want it while you are, have just finished it. After that, you're gonna have to have another bottle of wine with Jim. And then you're gonna have to go teach my mother how to turn the computer on again. For the hundredth time. I mean, it's so bad that I do not know the password to my own accounts, but I can tell you my mother's password in an instant just to get onto AOL. You gotta understand that my mother loves us very much and she wants to spend every possible minute with us, which is fine, but it has to follow her procedures and her expectations. She plans a fabulous dinner, has lots to tell you, and wants to know every single detail of your life. So you better be on time because she's gonna call you at 501 and wanna know where you are. <laughs> Rule number four. If you ever mention the word need two months before any birthday or any Christmas, you shall receive. And most likely, so will everyone else. See, my mother loves to have a theme to every type of holiday or major event. So if you say, Mom, you know, I really need a pair of warm pants, you will get some fleece line khakis, as will your wife, your sister, your brother, your kids, and your stepfather and everybody else. And your aunt, of course. Can't mention her. Now, I don't know why Cheryl and Terrell never seem to mention that they need diamonds, but they do seem to be doing pretty well on their own. Now, rule number five is probably, I have to say, my favorite and definitely Cheryl's favorite. And that is, when you finally have the ability to move out of the house, never, 
and I mean never, move back in. Now this includes coming home for the holidays, as Stephanie can tell you, or coming home after college three or four times, as Ryan and I can probably tell you. But staying at home means, well, staying at Terry's house when you live out of town happens very frequently, and she wants to remind you it is not a vacation. Because no matter how late you stay out the night before, or how tired you are from traveling, she will expect you to be awake at seven o'clock doing something constructive. Now, for 35 years, I have always wanted to know what the definition of constructive is. And for my mother, that basically means anything but sleeping. So if it is, you can do anything in the house as long as it's not sleeping past 7.01 in the morning. You're not, yeah, and, you, and at the same time, you've got to have all of your activities planned out for the day. Because she wants a full download of every detail from the night before, uh, down to the detail of what that other person ate and what that person wore. And I really believe that she wants to know that so she can basically make a comment on it. <laughs> you are not allowed to eat or snack before dinner, and if she doesn't like your daily plans, you will hear about it. But on the flip side, it's a great time to stock up on new clothes, new furniture, and calories. <laughs> Finally, rule number six. Now this is the most important rule. Never have children, because then the love fest will kick into overdrive. The <laughs> first thing she's gonna try to do is name your children. And then she will tell you, she will complete time, she will continually remind you of how bad your choices are. Then she will want you to come over more, which means more food and more Terry time. And if you don't have any kids, if you do have kids, you can't spend the night, because then you will never get any sleep. And finally, she will just expect you to make more of them and continue the vicious cycle. Right. So now, it's time to follow Terry's orders, grab us some food, grab a drink, and if you're not already, be married and make some babies. But for everybody, there is no sleeping in, and since it is her birthday, everybody has to get up at 7 a.m. So please raise a glass and help me toast Terry, wife, sister, grand, elder, and of course mom, we love you. Aww.